Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Gabby, and welcome to my strange little YouTube channel. Now, today's video is one that, for a period of time, I was planning on doing, but I was kind of hesitant to do it because I don't like feeding into negativity, I don't like focusing on negativity, but the more I looked at the comments I have received in the past that fall under the category of hate comments, they're more funny to me. Some of them are honestly hilarious. Like, I don't know how people come up with this stuff. Like, I I don't know. I give you props for that. Like, kudos for creativity. I don't really get a lot of hate comments on my channel. I feel like I have developed a small following of really positive and supportive people who just like weird shit and that's why they come to my channel, which I love that was like my goal from the beginning with my youtube channel but i get the occasional rude comments and i collected some of my favorites over the past year and yeah let's just get into it if i keep looking down i'm not going off of my phone i'm going off of my computer to read the comments so yeah keep that in mind now the first comment is the amount of times she says now is so annoying i can barely watch this which I came back with, now, I'm so sorry you feel that way. She does the same exact pose in each of these fucking video thumbnails and it kills me each time. And I came back with, forgive me for I have sinned. Get it? Because like, her profile picture is the Virgin Mary and her name is Mother Mary. So monotone. I apologize. So on my Black Dahlia conspiracy theory video, which wasn't supposed to be a super long video, I just went into five brief conspiracy theories revolving around the Black Dahlia case. I didn't go too much into detail, I just gave like a quick overview of each one. And one of my comments was, girl, you're not good at conspiracy theories. Why was she the suspect? Why don't people believe it? get into detail. That is like the worst thing you can say to a YouTuber who does conspiracy theories is like, you're not good at conspiracy theories. <laughs> like, that's like a dagger to my heart. Like, And on my Disney conspiracy theory and urban legends video, clicked on this expecting conspiracy theories and all I got was legends and facts. Lame. All I gotta say is, not lame. Why are you so annoying? Babe, why am I so annoying? He's not even answering. I think he agrees. Actually, I'm gonna Google it. Why am I so annoying? Six ways to stop being annoying. I'm going to save this page and I'm going to look this up later after this video. This is by far one of my favorite hate comments I've ever got on my channel. Makeup is cheating. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do when your guy sees you uh naturel, L-O-M-F-A, dot dot dot, what, dot dot dot, you gonna paint your foosing fat face every day, question mark, and keep it painted every hour, not even worth cruising, T's and dotting eyes. <laughs> if you guys want to send me anything or buy me anything for Christmas, I want that like printed on a t-shirt. Like, And when it comes to my boyfriend and his opinion on makeup, like my boyfriend is like, oh my god, you're so beautiful without makeup. And then I put on red lipstick and like dark makeup and he was like, oh my god, I love that color on you. Like, my boyfriend doesn't give a shit. Like, he doesn't care how I do my face. I could literally do a fucking clown makeup on my face. My boyfriend would be like, you know what? You rock that. And also, I highly recommend anger management to this person. Like, I'm scared they're gonna see somebody out in public with makeup on and like, go on a murder spree. Like, please, please get anger management. This is a great one also. The way this bimbo communicates is so frustrating. And when she talks, I hear, 
blah 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 blab lab la blah blab blah la la slib budget in my video about Carol Lombard and the strange things surrounding her death, I said that she won a coin toss and the coin toss was for them to either drive home or to take a plane. And since she won and they ended up taking a plane, I thought that was kind of obvious that she bet to take the plane home, you know what I mean? But somebody commented and they were like, the coin toss was a train or a plane Carol won. Which okay, I kind of understand that, you know, I, I thought it was obvious but like, I would have answered you know what I mean and this person comes back with right the dopey valley girl in the video couldn't even get the story straight might I add that this person cubomania 3 I don't I don't know I'm using people's names in this who even cares um, they literally spammed every one of my videos with such rude shit like honestly it was so rude i woke up at like 9 a.m to my phone buzzing off the hook because this person would not leave me alone they not only commented on my videos they commented under people's comments on my videos this person said she tells her story so smoothly like she knows what she's talking about before she films and can just tell the story beautifully definitely one of my new favorite youtubers and somebody said you are so right because she knows what she is going to say and i freaking love her love you guys so much like such sweet comments thank you this person came back with gee you two wouldn't be her or her buddies now would you so much ass kissing it's funny fa la 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 fuck you all of your thumbnails are the same it's kind of boring does your face not look cute in any other expression or something no. I don't know if you guys watch Kaylee Elise, but I love her videos. The research she does is insane to me. She has everything down to a T. She is so upfront, so honest, seems like such a sweetheart. And then you watch her videos where she's more being herself and not in a video about a case where she's super respectful, but just like being herself. She just seems like the coolest person. I love her channel so much. I'm always commenting on it. And I commented, chills are so intense in this one. Somebody commented, me too, can't stop staring at the faces and experiencing physical pain. This person said, go away, you're irritating. In which I said, you gotta be pretty low to comment hate towards someone who claims they got chills from watching a video about missing people cases, which is true. Why would you say that on a video about such a intense topic? They came back with, not that I hate the sentiment in your comments, I just hate you. <laughs> and your attention whore demeanor, as opposed to Kaylee who is modest and awesome. She is modest and awesome, I love her, but I really don't think she would appreciate her viewers attacking other viewers of hers. Also, I love how they don't know me and they hate me and I'm an attention whore which is so funny because I don't have a lot of videos on my channel that are even about me like most of my videos which is pretty much my entire channel and the reason I made my channel is about cases and strange events and the only thing that I really talk about with myself is my opinions about these cases which I'm always very respectful and I always stick to what is going on in the case. I never make it about myself. And I have a few personal paranormal stories, which obviously they're gonna be about myself. They're personal paranormal stories. Like, this isn't really a hate comment, but like, I like this comment a lot. She looks like Sarah Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I am put a hell on you. Ugh. Gave you an honest shot and chance. You are still horribly inaccurate and a horrible researcher. Come to my channel, folks, for truth. You would think as a YouTuber, you would want to support other YouTubers. Not this girl. No, she's, she's not for it. I mean, there are YouTubers I don't like, but I don't go and comment anything on their videos negative. Like, why? I don't, I don't understand. There have actually been YouTubers 
that I know I don't like and their videos have popped up about a subject that I like and I have watched it and found something that I really respect about it and I respect about their research or an input that they had and I actually commented that below the video because I like spreading positivity. I'm not going to spread negativity. I don't know why. It's okay to go out in the sun every once in a while. No. I saved my favorite hate comment for last. This one is by far my favorite and this is from the same person that commented before. So girl, you're getting you're getting you're getting two shout outs here. This comment was on my video about Thelma Todd's death and Thelma Todd was married to a man named Pat DeSicco, which I have never heard the name DeSicco before. And every documentary that I watched on the case pronounced it DeSicco. So I automatically thought it's DeSicco and it might be. People might pronounce it different. I don't know. It was only for a small part in the video. She said, it's not Pat De sicko, you moronic gothic wench. It's pronounced de chico. Moronic gothic wench. This is by far like my favorite hate comment I've ever got because I can just imagine like two people in a fight, the one person's calling the other person like all these crazy words, like just demeaning words and the person just like you know what you're a moronic gothic wench and just like drops mic walks away there's just been so many people i've told about this comment because like i don't know like there's so many times my boyfriend or my mom like it's become kind of like a inside joke with us i'll be saying something and it kind of won't make sense and they'll just be like you know what gabby right now you're just being a really big moronic gothic wench like chill i don't know but that's it for the hate comments at least for this year we'll see what this coming year brings for us i don't know i mean you guys are gonna have to top that last one like they might have won forever i do want to take a second though to thank everybody who has come forward on my channel and has said such amazing things for every one horrible comments I get. I get thousands of sweet ones and I get amazing messages from you guys and it just blows my mind because when I started this channel in February of 2016, I never thought that it would turn into what I have now and I know I don't have a big channel, like I know that, but I appreciate it so much and I appreciate every little new subscriber that I get on here. Like I notice every comment. I try to respond to as many comments as possible. I try to like as many comments from you guys. I really try to communicate on every video. I just, I just appreciate you guys so much. I know YouTube is really messing over everybody right now, but the money is not the reason I started this. I didn't even monetize my videos for like seven, eight months into my channel and I had some videos that had like 50,000, 100k views and they weren't even monetized. Like I never even thought about making money because I thought I was a small channel and I couldn't even make money from it. So I never started this channel to make money. It does suck putting in so much time and effort into something and not seeing a big outcome from it and my channel doesn't grow a lot. Like but I appreciate what I have, I really do, and I'll never stop doing it as long as I have a, you know, camera and a lighting setup, a computer, and there's a million cases in this world and things to talk about and things that interest me. And it's amazing to me that I've created a little channel where people are interested in the same thing also, and that's just the point of it all. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are having a very happy holiday, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree